Welcome back to the Student of the Game podcast. Once again, thank you all for tuning in. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Welcome to another edition of our 31 Nights of Horror. And tonight's movie we're going to talk about is called The Curse of Bridge Hollow. It's a movie starring Marlon Wayans and Kelly Rowland, and it's on Netflix. It came out last year on Netflix. Real good movie. This movie here, Marlon Wayans, he's a science teacher, and him and his wife, Kelly Rowland, and his daughter. His daughter is the young lady. She's um, She stars in Stranger Things. She's the little sister in Stranger Things, and she's brilliant. She's brilliant. What, what What's that young lady's name? Um, Priya Ferguson is her name, all right? Real good actress, and... And in a way, she's more of the lead in this movie. It's more like it's her and Marlon Wayans, okay? Kelly Rowland does a good job in this movie, but she's more ha- she has more of a supporting role in this film. But um, this movie here, so they move from Brooklyn, and they move to this suburban town where in this town, you know, they take holidays serious. So whenever you go, like whenever it's Halloween, everybody has a certain theme that they're decorating, okay? Um, what's the guy's name? Um, Rob, is it Rob? Yeah, Rob Riggle. I was going to say Rob Diggle. He's in this movie too, and he is hilarious. That guy there, I'm t- I mean, let me tell you something about this dude. This dude here, no matter what movie he's in, he could be in the movie for like one minute. But when you talk about whatever movie that he's in for maybe at least one minute or whatever, well, you're going to bring up a scene that he was a part of, all right? I remember first seeing him in The Hangover. He was uh, the cop in... Where he was the cop where he uh where he was giving the, the lessons on, on the tasing and stuff. You know, you remember that scene in Hangover? And he was like, in the face. So he's a real good, real good actor. So he plays Marlon Wayne's neighbor in this movie. Real good supporting role. But um in this town they take Halloween series. They take every holiday series. Okay, so Marlon Wayne's he's a science teacher. Anything that's dealing with paranormal activity or ghosts or anything like that. He doesn't believe in it because he feels like there's some type of scientific explanation for it. And which for a lot of those things, it is a scientific explanation for it. His daughter, she's kind of, the op- well, I wouldn't say she's solely the opposite. She has a very strong science background, but she also believes in different ghosts and paranormal activity. And throughout this movie, you know, she's trying she's try to get her f- to convince her father that the paranormal activity and monsters and all that stuff is real even though like you got a toy you got toys coming to life Marlon Wayne is his character he has an explanation for it you know and you kind of think like man is Marlon gonna just be dead serious this whole movie because you know I'm fine with that but we want the comedic Marlon you know and of course the comedic Marlon comes out and shine because you cannot keep the comedic Marlon Wayans down for too long okay this movie here like it has a lot of references like if you're from the age of 30 on up you're going to understand a lot of them my chick my kids we enjoyed the movie oh and this is a real good fun family movie as well okay um certain references like my children didn't understand so after the movie I had to explain to them like there's a scene where Marlon Wayans this is one of my favorite scenes in the movie I don't know if it's the best scene. Y'all might not think it's the best scene, but for me it was. Where uh, his character, he was getting ready to fight a bunch of clowns. And he was like, oh, hold up. Oh, nuh-uh, nuh-uh. Homie, don't play that. And me and my wife, we bust out laughing because for those of you who are unaware, Homie the Clown was played by Marlon Wayne's brother, Damon Wayans, from the show In Living Color. And we all know Homie don't play that. And I'm not going to lie, that was a moment... I wish, you know what, I wish Damon Wayans would have popped out of nowhere just for a cameo. Homie, don't play that. You know what I'm saying? He could have been doing balloons or something because they had a festival going. He could have been doing balloons or something and all of a sudden those clowns come and he'd be like, yo, these clowns hating on my territory. And then he coming out of nowhere, boom, boom. Homie, don't play that. I don't think so. Homie, don't play that. I thought that would have been pretty cool. But anyways, but it was still a cool scene, you know, that reference right there. And I was like, wow, okay. And there was some other things in there too that I'm not going to spoil, but Real good movie, good family fun movie, you know, so if you're looking for a movie to watch with your family on Halloween, that's not too, too creepy, that's good family oriented, this is a good movie. Like, it it pretty much, it felt like watching Ghostbusters, okay? That's what I said, it felt like watching one of the first two Ghostbusters movies, all right? But yeah, this movie here, man, like, I really enjoyed it, all right? The whole, there was another scene where, at an old folks home, and... 
and, and they had like Halloween decorations. And what was going on is that the Halloween decorations, they were coming to life. OK, and there was a Grim Reaper coming and you had this old man, you know, he on his walker, he's ready to walk out and he look up, he see the Reaper. He immediately turned around and he says, oh, not today. And he took off. You know, that's why I'm like, wow, I don't blame him, you know. But another scene, the scene that Rod Riggle was in, you know, he's his neighbor. He had the Walking Dead theme. And so he had zombies out in his front yard. So what happened was is that those zombies start to come to life. And this is one of the best scenes of the movie, too, because it made me think about the old Walking Dead. And speaking of that, Marlon Wayne's character mentioned that. And he was like, yeah, I like I, I stopped watching Walking Dead after they killed Glenn. And a lot of people did. For a lot of people, that was the end of The Walking Dead for them once they killed Glenn. And um, and they kind of talked about that a little bit. But the whole scene where the the zombies that was in his yard came to life, it oh, it looked like a scene that 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 we would have saw back back in the old days of The Walking Dead. All right. And um, you had Rob Riggle. Um, you had Marlon Wayans and his daughter, they was fighting off the zombies. So that was real cool, man. Real good scene. But yeah, check this movie out. It's on Netflix. It's real good. I think it's probably about like 90 minutes long. You know, it's not too long, but real good movie. I highly recommend this. Curse of Bridge Hollow. Real good movie. Check it out. Once again, thank you all for tuning in. Student at the Game Podcast. Peace out.